and you're locking grown people inside of a building. And like why are y'all spraying them with maids? And it makes me feel unprotected. Chaos and confusion at Xavier University when a midnight breakfast on campus ended with students saying they were pepper sprayed and locked inside the cafeteria. Okay, a shock like, let, let me get out of here. How the hell am I going to get out of here trying to find other exits and everything? Students say they were panicked when they realized they couldn't get out, telling WDSU campus police locked them in to clean up their mess. Because I guess they wanted everybody to stay in the cafeteria to clean it up, and people were like, didn't know why the gates were shut. Did you guys know ahead of time that they were going to lock you in? No. That's when students say they all started rushing, trying to push through a back exit. I guess the campus police was getting there, so they started, I know they started fighting people and that's when they maced people. And I know one person got arrested. One student who witnessed the arrest wrote to us saying, quote, I watched my friend scream that he couldn't breathe and his eyes were burning all while his face was bloodshot red. The officer's response was to put him in handcuffs as if he was a threat and keep the cuffs on him as he yelled out in pain. It's an uproar, it's um, a shock. We were just taken aback. And we're all kind of um, confused right now, really. Confused as to why campus police allegedly started pepper spraying. There was over 400 students trying to get out. We didn't know why we were there. And I got pepper sprayed. At a campus listening session Tuesday, students had the chance to speak out and said they want answers as to why this happened. Answers the university doesn't have right now, but says it's working to find out. We're still investigating the incident. Um, we haven't confirmed any of the exact details at this point. The university did confirm two campus police officers have been placed on leave pending the investigation. How are we truly going to change the situation from happening again? How are we going to elicit competency as it pertains to these officers and how they should handle hectic situations like last night? The university did send two emails to students today saying that they are committed to student safety and that what happened does not reflect the mission or the legacy of the university. We will certainly continue to follow this story. Live outside Xavier University tonight, Juliana Mazza, WDSU News.